Hello gamers. Welcome back to Hubi and Esport channel and today we will talk all about Smite, a free-to-play third-person multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Hi-Rez Studios. Smite 3D Fantasy MOBA allows players to take on the roles of mythological gods and battle in team-based arenas. Smite offers a third-person view of the action and keyboard controls which makes it different from other MOBAs. Smite has many game modes, the largest of which is Conquest. There are four play modes available, Training or versus AI, Custom, Classic and Rank. There are a number of standard game options that players can choose from. Occasionally, special event games with unrestricted gold or other unique rules are also introduced. Each game requires players to pick a god or another figure to play. Each character is assigned one of the following classes, Assassin, Guardian, Hunter, Mage, or Warrior. Unless otherwise stated, two players on the same team cannot choose the same character, in competitive modes and those using a draft pick method, each player must use a different character, successful team configurations are typically based on standard RPG raid configurations, tank, healer, physical, magical damage, during god selection. This MOBA is unique because the player controls the god from a third-person perspective. Other MOBAs are usually played from a top-down perspective. Each god has a basic attack and a passive trait. There are four abilities that have varying effects, area damage and crowd control, buffs and many more. These abilities can be upgraded and acquired by the player's character as they gain experience from killing minions, taking down towers and phoenixes, and defeating enemies' characters. Each level after that is reached is harder. You can earn gold which is used to purchase items that increase power and defense, passive effects, potions and wards, and other abilities by earning regular periodic income or selling your own items. Conquest is the default mode for MOBAs like Smite and League of Legends. It is a three-lane map that uses Warcraft 3's Defense of the Ancients map. Conquest is a game where players form two teams, each with five players. All players start on opposite sides of the map, at their fountain. Players are given a certain amount of gold before they can buy their starting items. These items give the player special abilities or bonuses that increase their god. Three continuous lanes run from one side to the other of the map. Each lane is protected by a phoenix, which is accompanied with a pair of extra defensive towers. Any enemies who come too close to the towers or phoenixes will be dealt a great deal of damage. Each game has two goals. Destroy the titan and the phoenixes of the opposing team. The Titan is a giant warrior who must also be destroyed to win the game. Minions are small soldiers that have weak attacks and are often accompanied by the players. These minions appear at the Phoenixes approximately every 30 seconds. They run along their lane until encountering opposition, then attack immediately. Not only will archers attack players and their minions, but also towers as well as Phoenixes, Titans and towers. Their presence is actually required to deal maximum damage to these targets. Players can attack a tower from defensive positions without being damaged. If there aren't any minions nearby, or if a player attacks an opponent player under their tower, towers will shoot at them. A team can surrender if a game goes sour after at least 10 minutes. However, this will require a majority, four players to one, of the team to agree. Two players from each team may choose to suspend the game for 30 seconds if they lose a player. A team can surrender within six minutes if it is down by more than one player. As the stronger gods of the game allow them to easily win player encounters, the team with the most experience and gold can often be the winning one. If one of the teams defeats their titan and enters the enemy base, they will win. So what do you think about this game? Leave a comment below if you have questions and if you want me to feature a smite god next time. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest updates from this channel. Thank you for watching and see you next one.